Yeah, so working at the Broad Ripple Brew Pub in the early 90s, learning this craft and falling in love with this craft and this trade actually took me to Seattle um, just to get away and do something different. It was there that a, an opportunity came available to me to move to Hong Kong to brew beer. So I took that. I got a job in the Turks and Caicos. Ended up with a little bit of time back here in Indianapolis, then went to Taiwan, into China, back to Taiwan. And at that point, the kids were old enough, or actually the oldest, the oldest son, or the oldest child, was old enough for school and we made a decision to come back home and open it here. Because we knew we were going to open something. Open up brew pub. And, and we knew that it was going to be Belgian beer, because of my fascination with Belgian beer. This is my little baby. <clears throat> so this is the brewery, back, right behind me back here. This is where it starts. This is what's called the brew house. There's some nostalgia there with this being the bait and tackle store when we were kids. Um, guy, the, the owner, I'd known him for a little bit. So we worked a deal and took this bottom floor and it was, it was perfect size for us because it was small enough that we could manage it and see if our concept worked because our concept isn't cookie cutter and it's not it's not pub food, it's, you know, it's not one of these tried and true sort of things. So it was a perfect kind of size for us to test it, so to speak, and it worked. <clears throat> the brewery came about because we were relatively popular. The styles of beer that we brew take longer to make generally than most of your American themed brew pubs. Um, so we were running into a shortage of beer. You know, they, it, it happened several times where we ran out of beer and we were just buying other people's beer. And that's never good for a brew pub. <laughs> it's not good. The Terre Haute Brewing Company came up for sale. So we put together a team of investors, a new investors, <clears throat> to buy that property, or in property and the equipment and start distributing beer. We can get this stuff into bottles and kegs and get it statewide. That's exactly right, and that's what happened. And it, we, we saw some small success with that, and some things changed and happened, and um, we weren't as successful as we thought we were gonna be. And that's probably another, another misstep of mine, that you know, two entirely different businesses, and maybe one guy can't run two completely different businesses. I can't run both. I can't be in both places at the same time. <clears throat> and I need to be. <laughs> So it's a foregone conclusion that that brewery is going to end up here in Indianapolis. It's it's going to have to. We're we're working on how to do it. What we'd like to do, our, our ultimate goal, is to have a centralized brewery that produces our flagship brands. Open more restaurants that that brewery can supply, and supply the liquor stores and the bars and the restaurants. Um, and if we if we can get that done with this new cash investment, merge the companies, then it's all the same thing. That, that place could sell all beer at cost to restaurants, our restaurants, and just, just break even and let the restaurants make the money on the retail side, and then make real money shipping the beer out the back door to other places. Needed, needed more seats, we knew we needed more seats. Making some money, but not the kind of money we needed to make. We ended up moving upstairs, opened that November of 08, um, and it worked immediately. We didn't have to wait to build a clientele to do all the stuff, because we needed the seats immediately. So as soon as we opened it, we filled it. And we don't, we don't we're still not open Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays up there. Um, we're thinking about that now. You know, we're filling, we're filling them every other night, so we're thinking about doing that now. 
Um, we're looking at Cincinnati, Louisville, Dayton, St. Louis, Chicago, Ann Arbor, um, maybe Bloomington. <clears throat> Bad side of that is if we open it further away, how do we manage that? Something that we'll learn, I guess, I hope, and I'm like, hoping that the lesson that I'm learning right now with the brewery isn't the same with the restaurant business. Could be. Um, but I, I'm just not sure that Indianapolis can handle another menu like this.